Daisy, whose question was on graphing lines on the plane. It's kind of simple, but still we can't leave a girl without an answer. So today we'll consider uh, an equation of a straight line or so-called linear equations on the plane. First of all, we're going to need a plane. A plane is formed by two axes, the horizontal axis, x-axis, and the vertical y-axis. These axes intersect at a point which is called the origin. To, to find coordinates, you should first choose the scale, which is already set right here. All the points on the plane can be des described by a pair of numbers. Let's have a look. Uh, we have four points uh, already graphed on the plane, and let's try and find their coordinates. So the point A has coordinates 1 and 5. Point B has coordinates minus 1 and 1. C has coordinates 4, 2. And D has coordinates minus 3 and 3. As you can see, the first number in pair stands for the x coordinate and the second stands for y. Now, none of these four points is related to any other. But if we connect any two of them, say A and B, we will notice that all the points that lie on this new line has, have something in common. There is a certain dependency between their y-coordinates and x-coordinates. And this dependency can be expressed in the form of an equation, like this. y equal to 2x plus 3. This equation can be verbalized as follows. To define the y-coordinate of a point lying on this line, you should take an x, multiply it by 2, and then add 3. As simple as that. Now let's try and graph some lines. We'll start from the most simple pieces. <coughs> like y equals 2x. Let's pick some points. Let's pick a couple of values, values for the x-coordinate, say 1, 2, 3, and 4. And according to the given equation, the y-coordinates will be equal to the corresponding x-coordinates. So our y's will be similar to the corresponding x's. And we have four points with coordinates 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, and 4, 4. Let's now graph them. We draw a coordinate plane x-axis, y-axis, the origin. Now we're setting a scale. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Minus 1, minus 2, <coughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Our four points are with the following coordinates. Let's find them on the plane. The first, the first is the point with coordinates 1, 1. And here it is. Then there is a point with coordinates 2 and 2. And then the, there's the third point, and then there's the fourth. Now let's connect them carefully. And ta-da, we have a line described by an equation y equal to x. 
Now, you can see that two points, any two points, were quite enough to draw a line, to draw a straight line, because, because it's straight, because it won't turn anyway at, at some point. Now let's take a look at another example. Say, y equal to 2 axis. We already know that we only need two points to graph a line. So, again, we'll pick two values for the x coordinate now, and now we'll uh, calculate the y coordinate. So, according to our equation, y equals to 2 axis, which means that if x equals to 1, y equals to 2. And then if x equals to 2, y equals to 2 times 2, which is 4. Now we have two points, which is enough to graph a line. Let us mark these points on the plane and graph this line. So here comes the first point with coordinates 1 and 2. And then there is a second one with coordinates 2 and 4. We have two points. We're connecting them carefully, carefully. Ah, this line was supposed to be straight. I tried my best. Now this line is described by an equation y equals to 2 axis. And as you can see, it is steeper than the first one. And now there is a third example y equal to 2 axis plus 3, the one we've mentioned above. Now let us graph it. So once again, we need two points to graph the line. We're picking two values for x, 1 and 2. We're calculating the y's for these axes. So if x equals to 1, one uh, y equals to 2 times 1 plus 3, which is 5. And then 2 times 2 plus 3, which is 7. We now have two points with coordinates 1, 5 and 2, 7. Let us graph them. Uh, the first point with coordinates 1 and 5. And the second point with coordinates 2 and 7. And here comes the third line. by an equation y equals to 2x's plus 3. Now you can see that these two last lines, the green one and the red one, are of the same steepness, but the last one comes above the previous one. Now if we replace the numbers in this last example, by parameters, M and B, we will obtain the equation of a straight line written in general form, which is called the slope-intercept form. Right here, B is called the y-intercept. B is the point where the line crosses the y-axis. And then there is m, which is called the slope. Slope defines the angle between the line and the x-axis, or in other words, uh, it defines the steepness of the line. Now, let's have a look at our previous examples. The, um, uh, the lines, uh, the color lines, the green one and the red one, were of the same steepness, and this now seems even more natural because we can see that they have the same slopes. Right here, m equals to 2, and the same situation here. Now, summing up. If you ever face an equation of a line written in this form, there is at least one point that you already know, and that is the y-intercept. 
Now you have a plane, you have two axes, the origin and the line. And the point where the line intersects the y axis is B, and it has coordinates 0 and B. And basically, that's about it. So, enjoy the lines. <laughs>